It is now 4 in the morning. I've got tickets to a 9 a.m. showing of Black Panther. And I am stoked. Going to be there with a few friends. We're going to check it out together. But here's some of my predictions of what they might be slipping in. Obviously, there's going to be reference to the upcoming Infinity War, which is getting hyped for the summer. I don't know how heavy they're going to push that, especially because, you know, anything they bring up about the Infinity War, we know is already coming. It's not one of those like, oh, wow, oh, God, Thanos is showing up. Oh, Infinity War is coming soon. No, like, we are, we already know that's a key thing that's happening this summer. But here are a couple of things I think they might have been able to pull out at the last second because... You know, the film industry is a lot faster moving than it was years ago, like even five years ago. And with Disney actually acquiring Fox, meaning certain properties are now on the table, um, I honestly think the House of Mouse is going to pull some stuff like last second. Like one prediction... Aurora Monroe is going to show up in like a clip or in in some quick dialogue. Like they might they might talk to T'Challa at one point. It's like, oh, and how is your bride to be doing? Oh, Aurora? Oh, she's wonderful. You know, something like that. And have it be just quick shot, drop her name, boom, to get the items to go, wait, wait, mutants are in the Marvel Universe? No way, you know, that kind of thing. Just a quick, a quick little, little, you know, nudge right there. Sort of like how they snuck Hydra Bob into Deadpool. You know, they were able to, they were able to figure it out just enough. You know, or maybe, maybe something along the lines of, um, bringing up Scarlet Witch. And her magic, and him say, that's not magic, that is natural. You know, so, something like that. You know, they brought up Claw. And oddly enough, Claw was known to periodically tangle with the Fantastic Four. So, we could very well have a Skype chat between T'Challa and a Dr. Richards. That would be cool. That would be cool to finally bring that, bring the Fantastic Four in, because, I mean, if anyone is going to know how to do a Fantastic Four movie, it's Marvel! I mean, why the hell not? Right? Right? So, so there's that. So, maybe, maybe have a hint at Fantastic Four, maybe have a hint at mutant, maybe not the X-Men, but maybe mutants. So they could always do, the, they could always do, um, I'm blanking on the name right now. I mean, they could bring up, you know, they could bring up Speedball and, and a few of the others who haven't had their chance God, what was the team he was a part of? I, I mean, it's after four in the morning, so, so yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely think they could make a mention of Aurora in in Black Panther as the future bride of T'Challa. So Storm could get her her wink and her nod. Uh, could definitely sneak in Fantastic Four with, with like I said, that that comment. Or maybe he has a run in with with Shield at one point and you find out that Operative Grimm is going to be the bodyguard if he goes back to America. It's like what is your first name? Benjamin. Ah, good to meet you, Mr. Grimm. You know, that kind of thing. Um 
New Warriors. That was the yeah. Yeah, the, the New Warriors. That was Speedball's team. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, definitely think Fantastic Four could get a nod. If not here, they will definitely get a nod in, in Infinity Wars. Because with how epic that is supposed to be, why not? I mean, they... They hold all the cards now. There's no law. They don't have to. They don't have to hide their hand and and work around it. They could just blatantly say, "Oh, this is Reed Richards, Ben Grimm, Sue, Sue and Johnny Storm." Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I would love for that storm nod to happen in Black Panther. And I know that's putting a lot of a lot of hope into just maybe a second of dialogue, maybe maybe a post credit stinger, but but she's very vital. She's you know, he's one of the few characters in any comic universe that is married. Hero or villain that is married. And it lasted a while. You, know, you could always bring up oh uh, Ben and Sue, I mean, Reed and Sue, always. This is true, but they haven't had the best relationship. And then you have, you know, go back to Ant, you know, the original Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I can't wait for that movie. A lot of people are like, what, why that one? I'm like, because it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. But this is about Black Panther. Um, yeah, he's, he's one of the few married men. He's treated competently. Oh, and another thing about Black Panther that's so great is he's not, he he doesn't fall into, I don't want to phrase it this way, but it's going to come off that, oh, traditional black tropes in comics, you know, he's not, he's not some, some guy from the streets who, who is just, you know, learning this stuff. No, he's, he's raised from a family of tradition. He's almost like Marvel's answer to the Phantom. Only he's got a lot more working on his side. He is the leader of his nation. He's the first to fight. No, he, he's not he's not a general sitting back, you know, waiting like, oh, all of my all of my forces have fallen, time to call him the Black Panther. No, he's the first to fight. If he shows up, it's going to suck for you. But if you actually get by him, then you have to deal with his army. So, yeah. You probably should have just let him rip your heart out when he said he was going to. But I don't know what the cinematic version of Black Panther is going to be like. Because Comic Panther is not afraid to kill. Ever. He'll do it. I mean, he weighs the pros and cons. Not like, oh, I'm just going to stab this guy. Like, oh, you're you're on that level of a threat. If I let you live, you'll get off on a technicality because S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't recognize Wakandan law. So I'm just going to slit your throat because of your cutthroat tactics, you know, something like that. We're not sure how, how hardcore he is here. Um, I'm going to assume he's a little more emotionally stable than he was in, in civil war because of course he'll be like cut out for a second. But I mean, time has clearly passed since that happened, but you know, between that and Infinity Wars coming up, I got a feeling T'Challa, you know, it's it's not the year of the dog, it's the year of the panther. And I'm sticking to that. So, hopefully, better news after the movie.